storm show. Hey, it's a storm show. She has taken to her social media to tell us that she is suffering from postpartum depression. So I'm gonna play um, a clip, an audio clip of her speaking here, and, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about it here. Postpartum moms, that postpartum has not been easy. I just wanna say to my postpartum moms that postpartum. Bitch, if you don't play. I just wanna say to my postpartum moms that postpartum has not been easy. It's not been easy. It's very hard. It's, this experience for me personally has been a little harder than with my daughter. It's not easy mentally, physically, spiritually. It's just crazy. And yeah, I didn't want to just get back to life without saying that because I think we can look on the internet and, you know, for other moms going through it right now. Um, we can go on the internet and it might look a lot easier for other people and like put the pressure on us, but it hasn't been easy for me either. It's been hard and I just wanted to say that. So I didn't even think I'd make it to this workout today, but I'm here and I'm feeling better. So you got this and it's okay not to be okay. Once mm. I realized that I was putting some pressure on myself and I just keep reminding myself I made a whole human a beautiful healthy boy and we have to stop putting pressure on ourselves to be back not even physically just mentally um after after birth so mm. just sending some love um, all right so she's sending y'all some love she is sending y'all some, the sound is very low. Do I need to play it again? I think y'all heard that. Y'all heard that. Y'all heard that. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So we gonna get into the Wonder Bread song first, all right? We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, that Wonder Bread news. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, huh? We got that Wonder Bread news. That still ass news, that tan ass news, that unseasoned news, that sacrificial news, that witchy news, that appropriator news. Need to teach her motherfucking daddy mama how to walk in them heels ass news. We got that Wonder Bread, Wonder Bread, that Wonder Bread news. And I held that note! Bitch, I held that note! I held that note. I held that note. Don't make me put out an album. Do we need a Wonder Bread album? Don't make me put out an album. I, bitch, I held that note that time. I heard it. I felt it. I'm getting me a vocal coach. That's it. That's it. If J-Lo can sing for 30 years, damn it, I'm going to start singing too. Now, let's get... Let me, let me, let me, let me first buy... Let me start by saying this. Postpartum is a very real thing. And I am in no means ever going to, you know, come in here and roast and drag it and make fun of it. Um, but Kylie, Kristen Jenner, uh, Kylie, build a thought, Jenner, build a body. Um, I mean, you did house a body, but you housed the body in a build a body. Uh, you, your baby, you being pregnant was basically like a build a bread body in a build a bread thought workshop. But my point is, Kylie, I just got one word of advice for you. And it's to, well, how can I say it? Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like no one wants to work anymore. Get your fucking ass up and work. Are y'all ready? Tell her. Get your fucking ass up and work. You coming out talking about how you went all the way there in your head uh, uh, after postpartum. It's very funny you coming out saying this now after your sister then just came out and told us to get our fucking ass up and work and make sure we work around a team of people that create a great work environment, even though y'all basically got rich off of unpaid interns, which is how everybody else got rich. Let's keep it a stack. Your ass is stressed out after all those sacrifices at Astro World. That's why your ass is so damn upset physically, mentally, and spiritually. Yeah, you gonna feel the backlash of that shit. Let's talk about how physically, mentally, and spiritually your ass is in trouble because you don't even look like yourself. 
You look in the mirror every day and don't even recognize you. Let's start at the self-hate first. Let's start at the self-hate. Let's start at the sacrifice. Let's start out the, at the fact that you ain't even got no monogamous relationship with this nigga that you're laying down with. Let's keep it a stack, Kylie. Kylie. When everything fake, what's real? Mm, that, that postpartum real, though, ain't it? Let me tell you something. I'm sorry you going through it, but I can't give your ass no sympathy because other mothers go through it every day and still got to get their fucking ass up and work. Mothers got postpartum, going to school, and tugging along three, four kids on the bus, no child support and all that, and you get to sit in your house and, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, I totally was, like, going to miss this workout. I could barely get out of bed. Oh my God, my nanny, Esposita, uh, she came 10 minutes late. So did you know I had to actually wipe Wolf's ass? I got shit up under my fingernails. I'm having anxiety. Bible, 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 Bible. Bible, 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 Bible. Anxiety. Bitch. You don't call me back when you start using your real skin tone and not a minute before. It's storm show. Ay, it's storm show.